Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this kind of cool image transition animation. As you can see it has a very nice transition effect. Imagine you have a photo gallery or something and when you hover over different images you're going to get this nice effect. So let's get started from scratch. I'm just going to go to codity.io as always and then I'm going to create a div, give it a class container or maybe even image container. So here, uh, this is going to be our image container as we saw before. Now in the CSS section, I know that the class is image container. Just going to give it maybe a width of, let's say 600 pixel and height of 300 pixel. And I'm going to use background. To add our image right I do have the URL here I'm just going to copy and paste it I search it over Google uh, here as you can see you can take any any image you want let's maybe take a take another one uh, I'm just going to go here and copy the image address uh, just be sure that this image is not the priority of us, it's just a Google image and uh, if you want to use it, you need to get their permission. Uh, going back here, I'm just going to say paste it this URL, right? As you can see now, we have our image over here. Now the trick here is set the background size to 100%. As you can see, it covers the whole image. Uh, it, let's remove this. Another property that you can use is background repeat and then set it to no repeat. This makes sure that the, there is only one copy of it. And if you want to make sure that it kind of spans all the uh, image containers width and height, you just set the background size to 100 pixel, right? So we have this over here. Maybe I just make it a little bit bigger uh, it's very important that you set the width and height based on the uh, resolution or the width and height of the image or at least proportional to that so that you have a better look of the picture that you're using. Now in order to have that uh, transition effect what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set image container and then I'm going to do hover and here I'm going to set the background size to 100 maybe 5% right. So now if I hover, you will see that it has this jaggy sort of effect. Now to give it a transition, I'm just going to say transition. I'm just going to say all and maybe 0 0.4 seconds, right? Now you will see that it has this kind of nice animation. Maybe just a little bit more, maybe seven here. Now you will see that you have this kind of cool animation over here. One thing to make sure that you understand here is that this transition, changing your background size from 100% to 105%, it actually the scaling of this or changing the size happens from up here, as you can see. If you want to have it so that it actually scales or changes the size to a bigger from the center, what you need to do is really just set the background uh, position to center, right? And now if I hover, you'll see that it actually does it from the center. As you can see, there is a bit of a jagging over here because it has to sort of, uh, on each frame, tries to center it as well. That's why there is a little bit of a jagging here. If I remove this, you'll see that it's a little bit smoother. As you can see, it's much smoother actually because it doesn't need to redraw that to the center position all the time. But here, if I set the background uh, position to be center, you'll see that there is a little bit of a jagging. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal, but if, uh, you know, if you're happy with it, then it's okay. But otherwise, I'm going to show the technique in the next tutorial on how to make sure you have a very smooth, without any jagged sort of uh, reframing of this animation. So I hope you enjoyed this animation. In the next tutorial, as I said, I'm going to make it a little bit cooler and then we will actually build some sort of a nice photo gallery with different sizes. Uh, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, see you next time.
uh, have a good day and night.